Mister? Dumb boy. Just let me get this off, boy. Watson, you hear me? Come on. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished? Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat. Friend, I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? 
Our camp partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! One more! Oh my god, he killed him! Trying to keep the law on you! Hey you! Get back here! Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Home. Home. Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> Wonderful. Yeah. 
One for the road. When he'd show up. My lady. Ah, that horse looks right as rain. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Thank you, Arthur. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. All right. Oh, not again. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Let's go, boy. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one, couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> 
Well done. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. do that I don't know but I see tracks heading in this direction I say we follow him all right lead the way been dead a couple of days at least okay boy I don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. shoot those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we <laughs> it's that business of mine good god you're crazy i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <clears throat> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. 
No! Please, don't kill me! I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
You moron! Not again! For Christ's sake! Here, maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it.
Welcome back. Morning. Well, why doesn't that surprise you? See you soon. Hey, get moving. Why are you holding up? Wish I stayed in bed. Good to see you again, pardon. So, what are you aiming for today? Now, let me have a look. You'll see a few people in town with that, too. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. Welcome right back. Feel safer in here, right? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Seems strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. The volcanic pistol. She's slow on the reload and lever action, depending on how well you take to it. But goddamn, this bitch is good from a distance. Seen some bad, bad damage with this. Oh, eh, no worries, then. My nephew inherited one of these from his daddy from the war. Yep, this is the one. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Good, good. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that in Valentine. Now, the 
This should be fun. Thanks, partner. Benedict Albright. Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, right. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, are you taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! What? Ain't we had enough drama? I, I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chances. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Oh. Really do not like Yeah. Swim to the edge! 
isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. Try going around people. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? And that's the truth. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Caldorp was uh, just leaving. Sure. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you. Yeah. Good to see you again, pardon. Okay, now let me see. Ma'am? Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Let me see what's available. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Huh. It's yours now. Good, good. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone, that's for sure. With Valentine connecting the west to the east, they get a lot of passing folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. Some of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving.
keep treating Ed like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good? Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. So long, my old lady dang near threw me out of her shack. Get up. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... Uh, my family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me?
Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <laughs>